All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I have a, an icon with me. This is the small Sebenza 21 in uh, Wilson Combat Edition. As usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this guy. But first of all, let's just do a quick size comparison. This is up against its uh, bigger brother, the large Sebenza 21. This is the um, Omnum Zan, same family from Chris Reeve Knives. Uh, this is your PM3 uh, from Spyderco. And this is your PM2 right up against. And let's do the Benchmade 940-1 just to give you some popular options over here. So let's have a look at the design of this guy because this is an original design from Chris Reeve uh, um, in um, US from Made in Idaho. Uh, it star he started uh, producing this uh, very similar design, the, the original one in 1990. So it has been around for a while. Uh, the scales are made of titanium. These are milled grooves to, you know, to give this uh, sun rays uh, look, which I truly love. It's just the only difference uh, you're gonna have uh, compared to a regular plain Jane small 21. Uh, the shape is like a classic uh, shape. You cannot mistake this shape uh, with any other knife. It's so iconic. It's so well recognized in the knife world and in the knife industry that, uh, I mean, guys, you're gonna see this guy. Yeah, that's a Sebenza. That's, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, some nice lines, you know, this is uh, a beauty, you know, beautiful cut relief to, for your thumb to access, you know, like this. Uh, so very, very nice cut relief and then, you know, goes out and then you have these lines like, you know, coming up together to this tip and you have this line here which is slightly curved it's not just like straight there is a, just a hint of a curve like convex over here and then you know just moves around and to this tip which like resembles a bit of, a little bit the tip over there and then it tapers down again to connect with this groove i mean guys this is uh, come on this is just beautiful uh, you have uh, chamfering going on all around the handles like here you see and also they took the time to chamfer the inside of the scales look at this so when your finger rubs up against this position yeah you know, you're not gonna feel any sharper sharp uh, edges um, you have a nice jimping going on there's like 15 uh, grooves over here whereas in the large Sebenza 21 you have guess how many yeah these are 21 grooves so pretty cool um they did 15 because of course the blade is shorter so they didn't have the space to uh, allocate you know all those grooves uh, without ruining the balance uh, of the of the design um you know the lock it's a frame lock and uh you know, Chris Reeve invented the frame lock and um, it's a, you know, a widely used uh, kind of lock, type of lock uh, nowadays because it's super solid, super reliable and um, it, it's it's beautiful. I mean, it's, uh, it's called also integral lock because the lock, it's this bar over here, which is an integral part of the handle. So it's, uh, it's super famous. Uh, you have this, uh, um, lock release relief over here which is like beautifully functional like your thumb is just gonna naturally want, will want naturally to push this lock bar that way to you know release the lock and just to be able to close the blade so beautiful beautiful design um, you have this cat out here this is um, you know an internal lock bar relief which serves like to create some tension uh, when they bent in on the inside the lock bar and it's great you know they milled that on the inside that, so it doesn't you know take away anything from the design even if it's below the pocket clip so beautiful uh, the screws are, uh, you know, uh, Allen, like uh, size number two, Allen keys, and, um, uh, you know, they have, a, I would say, like a polish uh, finish to it. They're not like protruding, they're not like 100% flush, but, you know, just a little bit of uh, dome sticking out over here. Nothing, you know, uh, 
you know hideous it's just uh, you're gonna feel it but they are super smooth so not distracting it they're good to go uh, the pivot it's phenomenal it's it's not a captive pivot uh, it's a bushing pivot which means you have two screws over here a female and a male and inside you have like a barrel like a cylinder which serves um, which in, sets inside the hole of the blade and the blade pivots around that so this translate into like insane high tolerances and uh, like there's not gonna be any need for thread lock you're not gonna need to lock tight uh, this pivot here because you can squish this as much as you want and you're gonna still have the same smoothness of the blade because there's an actual bushing pivot inside which prevents the handle to squeeze like the the washers and the blade too much so that the action is gonna be like gritty or like uh, you know not as smooth as uh, as it is so beautiful beautiful uh, mechanical engineering going on right there even if it's like super simple uh, this is one of the easiest knives to take apart it has like one two three screws and that's it guys you can even just loosen a little bit these two take out the pivot and just pop off the blade and that's it you clean it out and then you don't even have to fully disassemble the blades to take out uh, the knife just be uh, careful because you know tolerances on this one are like ridiculously high and tight so there's just barely enough space if you tighten a little bit these two screws to slide the blade with the washers in so it, it's gonna be like really really tight but just perfect uh, uh, perfect to assemble and uh, with no pl blade play whatsoever uh, the pocket clip it's uh, you know it's something that I I am not in love hundred percent I, I get it it's beautifully designed uh, it's functional you know has like this uh, you know clip ramp over here which is perfect to slide in your uh, the edge of your pocket you know it's only tip up carry which I like it's not ambidextrous you're gonna have to choose like the um, lefty option which has like the clip on this side over here um, but I mean uh, it's uh, I don't know it's missing th something for me it's too simple I get it it's a simple knife but I would have liked something uh, nicer um, it's all right I mean not a big deal it's functional I get it but again it's too simple for me and uh, it doesn't quite match with the overall design but this is I mean this is just me um, You've got this lanyard hole here, uh, which you can use as a just lanyard hole, like to pass through some paracord. Uh, this guy actually comes uh, with a lanyard tube uh, with a like a lanyard attached to a hole. In the older versions, uh, you couldn't um, uh, remove the lanyard uh, and just keep the tube because it was just a cylinder, so it would have been like falling out. Uh, recently, Chris Reeve uh, introduced just a shouldered one, so you're gonna have like a lanyard tube with shoulders, which you can just leave there if you don't like to have uh, a lanyard attached so in the older version you must have a, a piece of at least lanyard attached there in order to keep the tube in place otherwise it's just gonna fall off there's no backspacer here of course just a couple standoffs uh, in place so open back constructions and uh, yeah the blade is absolutely centered it's uh, it's just uh, I mean perfect uh, perfect build so let's check out the blade this is a three inch blade like 294 something like that just a little bit under three inches it's a s35 vn steel so good to go uh, it's super smooth i mean the the finish they put on this one it's it's just incredible to to the touch and to the eye uh, the stock thickness it's just perfect uh, it gives like a thin tip but at the same time quite strong uh, the grind is hollow and you know Chris Reeve is capable of doing just a beautiful hollow grind and look at the how thin behind the edge this guy is so you can have plenty of sharpening life uh, 
on this blade. In fact, you have a nice sharpening choy going on over here. This is a beautiful drop point design. I mean, I like this subtle line that here there's an angle. It's not like straight. I don't know if you can appreciate this one here and then it just goes down like that with a beautiful belly up to here and just a flat, nice flat cutting edge over there. The plunge grind is up here so it reveals, you know, in, the, in its entirety how thin behind the edge this blade is. Of course, the grind symmetry is like Chris Reeve level, so absolutely symmetrical. Uh, you have a little bit of uh, uh, thumb ramp over here and what I'm like really fan of is the crowning of the spine. You guys have to touch this one because there's no words uh, to describe how smooth and how well done this spine crowning is. I even appreciate this little triangle kind of thing and at the end of the jimping and right before the uh, crowning. It's a, it's a little nice uh, design that I, I truly appreciate. Something that I also am in love with, it's the sterile look of the blade. No billboarding going on here. You just have the Chris Reeve logo right over here. In this case, you have the Wilson Combat logo on the clip, but in the regular version, you're not gonna have anything. Just uh, Chris Reeve and Idaho made on the back, which is gonna be in another position in the original one more like this guy you have a normal uh, not ceramic ball uh, detent ball sorry and there's no skeletonization on the inside of the scales so let's see let's hear a little bit some sounds because this is sebenza sound i mean it's you can use it as an adjective it's a uh, it's so distinctive and unique, and uh, I'm not sure if the mic is gonna be able to pick this up, but guys, this is Sebenza sound. It's so classic. When, when you open this guy, you know that you're opening a Sebenza. If somebody next to you, behind you is doing this, you're gonna turn around and say, hey, dude, yeah, you got a Sebenza, right? It's, really, it's pretty rich and unique, and uh, it's not loud, but it's a it's a nice clang. It's so unique, so distinctive. Only the Sebenza is a, uh, capable of producing this kind of noise. Love it. The closing sound, guys, it's this one. It's a little muffled. It's mellow. It's be 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 beautiful, guys. I mean, come on. It's so sweet and it's like a it's like two glasses of champagne clinking together and it's gonna put you like in a cheerful mood a hundred percent it's so beautiful i truly appreciate the noise uh, of this uh, knife closing who doesn't uh, let's check out some feelings when you hold uh, this this blade uh, in your hand uh, weight is uh, it's super light of course this is like three ounces um, there's uh, i would say like the no hot spots because this is the small one so this um tip you know of the pocket clip it's not gonna interfere with my handle it's just gonna you see follow right over here so that's uh that's good to go maybe just a little bit over here if you squeeze a lot you're gonna you're gonna feel some sharp uh, edges over here but nothing too crazy so it's it's pretty well done it's pretty solid air goes on this one the jimping is okay it's not aggressive it's functional you can feel it but it's not like you know the best jimping but it's uh, it's there it's 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 pretty useful uh, you can also do like a reverse grip it's a little bit small in my hand but still you know you can use your thumb over here to, to reverse grip this guy there's not really like a choke up option you're gonna you know there's no finger choil so you can choke up a little bit like up to here but you're still gonna be able to do some precision work because you can use up to this pace so your index is gonna stay right here thumb on the jimping and you can just glide through your material with this blade because it feels like solid it's something like guys this doesn't move it's it feels like a, I'm not gonna say a fixed blade but uh, you know it feels like really solid the texture is smooth I prefer this one because it has some grooves which add some you know some grip to, to your uh, purchase so, you know you're gonna you're gonna feel this one less slippery than a plain Jane one uh, 
uh, the, the to the touch it's like you know the sandblast titanium feels a little bit um, not rough but like a little bit sandy especially when this is new like for example uh, this is your Umnum Zan which is brand new and has like this finish which to the touch is like smooth but at the same time a little bit sandy and a tiny bit rough which is gorgeous guys it's just a pleasure to touch uh, there are no gaps around like anywhere it's it's perfectly built again the tolerances are just outstanding like uh, insane level like uh, aerospace level uh, the clip, uh, you know, it's as I said, not the, a fan of the design, but functionally, it's it's uh, top notch. I mean, you have the your spring tension, which is perfect. The clip ramp right here, yeah, great. Pocket is gonna slide down, and you have this angle over here, which is m less uh, obtuse than this one. It's more acute, which means that the pocket, when it's gonna slide down this way, it's gonna be easier than you know than getting in. So it's uh you can slide it out much easy because of the angle over here but it's you know the retention is going to be great so it's not going to fall out of your pocket um when you deploy the blade so you know this is running on washers sebenza it's known not to be like you know the um fastest deploying uh, blade on the market because you know it's uh, not about that. This is about smoothness, guys. It's like imagine to have two uh, slab of glass with some olive oil in between and you're going to rotate them. Yeah, that is the kind of feeling you get when doing this movement. It's, uh, it's not buttery smooth. It's glass on glass smooth, guys. This is uh, a beautiful feeling. It's hard to explain. You guys need to try this one. You know, the deployment is slow because you have only the thumb stud, so you're gonna have to do this. So this is gonna be fast, but you you know that, you know, it's, uh, it's not, uh, you know, the fastest one. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of finger sore uh, from your thumb tip because the thumb stud is a little bit on the sharp side. So, you know, you just have to get used to this, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be so much fun to play with this and just flicking it open. Um, it's, uh, you know, as I said, runs on phosphorus bronze washers. The, bro uh, the washers have um, some pockets uh, on the inside to retain the grease. So you just lube it up and uh, the grease is gonna stay inside the pocket in these holes inside the washers. So to keep the mechanism lubricated uh, over time, which is a great, great idea. Uh, the detent strength is pretty much dialed in. You know, there's no way you can flick open the the knife like uh, you know shaking the knife open it's not gonna happen uh the the design it's like perfect it's outstanding like look at the tip of the blade is right there there's no way you're gonna be able to to cut yourself like even if you try to jam your fingertip on the inside there's not really much rattling going on because it's so well built guys um the when when you close the blade it's it's look at this you have like just the right amount of space to stuck your thumb in just unlock and just close this guy so very very straightforward uh closing action there's no lock stick it's just you know uh, it just works because the lock face over here has been carbidized, uh, so hardened to match the, I mean, to be harder than the titanium because titanium is softer than steel. Therefore, like having these two kind of materials in contact with each other, it's gonna create some lock stick over time. So uh, they carbidized this lock face, the surface at the end contact in contact with the tang of the blade in order to avoid actual uh, stick from uh, you know lock uh, lock stick sorry so really really great feeling in when you close the blade uh, you know there's no detent ball ramp so you're gonna have like you see this little step over here it's not like super hard but it's something there and uh, 
obviously you know there's no free fall over here as soon as you release the lock yeah the blade is gonna stay there especially if the knife is new uh, maybe with uh, some you know after some use the the washers are gonna uh, show some uh, wear and they're gonna be smoother so uh, it's gonna maybe fall like, like this but you never will have like a, a guillotine effect of the blade just uh, closing down if you want to achieve that uh, you must polish your washers but most likely you're gonna screw up some tolerances which are extremely tight uh, in uh, in these uh, in these blades so i don't know that's gonna be up to you to decide because probably it's gonna also void the warranty which is incredible so you can actually send uh, your Sebenza. It doesn't have to be uh, your per first purchase. You just, as long as it's as uh, it's a genuine one, you just send it to Chris Reeve, and they're gonna. Uh, perform a spa treatment like free of charge you just have to char to pay the shipping cost to, to get the knife back um, to you but they're gonna you know re uh, sandblast the scales they're gonna sharpen the knife uh, you know they're gonna take it back to life they're gonna lube it uh, you know if there's something wrong they're gonna switch the the washers they're gonna give you probably the new um, the newest release so you are are covered on this one you know that you can uh, actually put this to work for a long long time and that's why this guy is called Sebenza which means uh, work so I am sure that this one is gonna be uh, pleasant to hold to keep and to use for many many people and uh, yeah there you have it this was my review of the small Sebenza 21 hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and stay tuned